Hello, my name is Christopher Irving. Um, I suppose I'm technically retired, but have a number of roles and jobs at the moment. Um, I'm priest in charge of two villages in East Sussex, Bodium and Ewhurst Green. I'm also the rural dean of Rye. That gives me a, a wider responsibility within the Diocese of Chichester. And I'm an honorary teaching fellow at the College of St. Augustine's. Part of my uh, role in uh, St. Augustine's College of Theology is to um, take particular responsibility for the teaching of um, a module on uh, sacramental theology and ministry. And that's really exploring um, those very basic Christian activities when Christians gather together, the making of new Christians in baptism, and looking at the Eucharist or communion, the Mass, the Divine Liturgy, um, what it is that Christians do when they gather together um, on a Sunday for the breaking of bread. Um, that's what we call the Eucharist. Um, and those two aspects of Christian ministry are the things which we explore together in this module. It's a module that's taken certainly by all those who are preparing for ordained ministry um, and also licensed ministry uh, in the Church of England. And um, we're also pleased to, to welcome into that cohort others who, for all kinds of reasons, um, are, are taking a, a course in Christian theology. So it really is the kind of interface between the worshipping church and what it is that, that Christians do, what defines them as Christians, and um, the primary locus of, uh, of the Christian church. In many ways, I've kind of been um, an eternal student. Not that I've gone on and taken degree after degree after degree. I don't have that many letters after my name. But um, what is something that, that, that's continued all the way through um, has been um, a commitment to teach. And I think I've become a teacher because teaching is the best way of, of getting to know something. If you really want to get to grips with a subject, um, if you try and teach it, that's probably the best way of getting into that whole, that whole territory, that whole area of, of knowledge. And it's been like that for me um, in terms of teaching theology. I'm currently teaching a, an MA module with the principal, Alan Gregory, on um, art and theology. It's an area that's fascinated me for a long time. And um, what we're trying to do is look at a number of issues in art and architecture, particularly the visual arts, um, because in a way this is opening people's eyes to, to what's there in the world, um, helping us to see uh, you know, what really matters in our world, to see deeply, um, to see what is beautiful, what is true, um, what is that source of goodness, knowing that some of the questions that artists ask are ones which are the questions that theologians ask. You know, what is, what is truth? What is goodness? What is beauty? Because in the end, these are the things that, um, as we would say to use a religious language, redeem the world. Um, that's what gives us delight, because um, it's not simply seeing what's there to be used in a, just a utilitarian way but knowing that what's there in the world, in the natural world, in the world around us, in the world of human making, that all these things can also be a source of delight. Um, they're made. Um, human beings are creative. Perhaps that's what we mean by human beings being created in the image of God. <laughs>